Hi everyone, it's Lisa, and today on Doodle Draw Art we're going to draw Spider-Man. What we're going to do first is we're going to start off by making a letter X. So we're going to start up here in the corner, and we're going to make a long X that curves like this. It's not quite straight, it has a little curve to it. Now we're going to make another X, another line of the X coming from up here, and straight through. And we're going to continue doing this with two more lines at the top and two more lines at the bottom. Now these are the web lines on Spider-Man's face. The next thing we're going to do is draw his eyes. So we're going to start right here and we're going to make his eye coming down in the same angle as his web and then curving out to the side like this. And then one more line connects here, and the same thing on the other side. Starting here, we'll make a line that goes down, and that's going to come up around like this to here, and then bigger connecting around the bottom. So now we have some of his web and the shape of his eyes, and we're going to draw in his head, the actual edges of his head. So I'm going to come from the top here, making an oval shape like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to continue the oval down under his chin and up. You can see it's a little bit wider up here at the top where his temples are. So now Spider-Man is a spider, so he's going to have these web lines that come in from the center in all these directions. And then the next one and the next one and the next one. I'm just going to draw in this part first and then I'm going to decide how to deal with it here. So I'm going to draw a little line that comes out and bring this down. Same thing on this side. I'll draw a little line that comes out and bring this down. And now from the side of his head, we're going to see that this line would come into the center and there would be a line here as well and a line here as well. Same thing on this side. We would have a line here coming in toward the center, and another one here, coming in toward the center. So now we can do the same thing down below. And again, this one's coming from here. And you can see these lines here should probably come a bit further. Now I'm just going to bring his head in a little bit closer to his eyes, like this. My final lines, I'll like that shape better. Okay, so now we have all of the lines for his face. We'll just connect these little lines up to the top. And we can draw in where his neck would be. So just coming straight down from here, just going to go down and then curve out. Same thing on the other side. Just go down and then curve out. And we're going to draw some web lines that are going to come away from his neck like this. Curving away on the sides and curving like this. And then we're going to do the same thing, connecting these web lines. And these ones are going to curve up towards his face. like this. Alright, and now we're ready to use our black marker and put in our final lines. So I'm going to use a regular tip, fine point sharpie. 
is a regular point and fine tip because it says fine point on my Sharpie. So here I go, I'm just going to trace over these lines and I'll do this in time lapse. Alright, so I've done all of my lines and I've used an ultra fine line for these web lines and now I'm going to erase all of the pencil marks that are showing. Alright, so I'm all set now. I've erased all of my pencil marks and I'm going to color Spider-Man and I've chosen pure red as my coloring choice. I'll just do this in time lapse. So that's how I draw Spider-Man, and if you wanted to add some shadows, you could do that by just going back over your design with some darker, um, some darker colors, um, just around the edges to give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. So I would choose probably something in the dark brown tone, or even um, a blue or a purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some more shadows, and you can do the same if you like, or leave it where it is. Thanks for watching. I'd love it if you would comment, rate, and subscribe.